Hello everybody, welcome to the LA Studios and Old Grizz's Fun Park Comics here. We're working on the park. Uh, I did some work in the clipboard and we were able to create... Hey! This is a clip I made, brought it in, sped it up. So if we hear the prairie dog family, that would be Andy talking about stuff that Alex in the park is doing. Alex would do the work. Andy does the design work on the computer. So when you hear me in the studio, that is Andy. If you see him working in the park here, that is Alex. So that's how that works. That's all made up. There's actually no. no the, you're giving the secrets away. I know. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, this is a new clip we put together. We sped it up like two times. Like I said, it fit that seven minute thing. So I got room for another seven minute clip. So we can go and do some new footage. Speed it up so it's easier to get through some of it instead of just sitting there and. Um, a lot of it's menu driven, so instead of just leaving the menus in there, cut them out. Uh, some of the work looks better if it's sped up to see the progress and see how it goes together. And to see that sometimes some of the things I'm putting together, I'm actually putting stuff on the inside, trying to keep it looking like it's being used for something other than just. Well, some of it is just backdrop. Some of it is not like, like for instance, here, Billy, this is the facility of the entertainer square I developed because this is a spot for my entertainers. I have uh, Miss Emmy and I have Mr. Marshmallow. I have those two in this spot in the clipboard so I can get shots of the scene that we're developing over to the left where the, the skeleton of the figures are. Because um, we do a lot of bit of work there. Like I said, Andy does a talk in the studio. Uh, coming up with this different design. Actually, there, see, that's what Alex is building. With uh, mom's approval. The silent partner and the whole thing. Nothing goes in the park without mom's approval. And if she doesn't and like it, it comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, take it out or it gets put in. Either way. If she likes it, and it's probably good, she, she's, she's good at what she does. So everyone trusts her. That's why you can it. Uh, this is, um, and what I did is I created this little facility so that when the uh, entertainers are getting tired, they got a place to go. It's a staff building. There's two. There was three. I turned one into a bathroom, so they have a bathroom to use. And um, I'm incorporating the idea of building a block. Is I built this corner piece. I copied it, made it one unit, and I was able to copy and paste it, turn it, spin it, to create like a shell like looking area. And it's kind of a quick way to do something. Um, or you, you can sit there, take your time, and work on it too. I mean, there's no, there's nothing saying you can, uh, can't sit there and precisely place each block to get a perfect wall or look. Um, I know some of the figures I've created are a little bit rough because it's there's, to line them up takes a little bit of looking from this angle because I. The front might look right, then when you go around the back, it might be up too high or too low or too far away. Um, I've done that with a couple of doors and stuff where I thought they were, they looked okay. And then when I started looking at building from the side, the doors were away from the wall. <laughs> so, you know, you, you, you click on them and you move them and put them on the wall. Um, trees the same way. I put them in a spot, come to find out they're, they're not in the ground, they're hovering. Um, so. And that's why I like going through and doing these reviews. And this is Miss Emmy. If I'm not mistaken, I gave her a different name. There's another one. I created another entertainer area. So this would be another entertainer. 
This is Miss Emmy. What would be nice is we could go and change the color of your outfit. So like let's say you have the two entertainers, you can have one different color. Um, the princess would be good for that. You can have sisters where one is in a blue dress, one might be in a green dress. Um, it would be neat if you could change them all like that. And then you create different entertainers. But, uh, let's see, there's Spooky Carl. There's Mr. Marshmallow. There's, um, uh, I think, Miss Emmy. I think that's what, when he, that's what I got in my head now, Miss Emmy. I got, I got to write that down. Miss Emmy. Miss Emmy. Miss Emmy. She does, uh, does the pistols. She's good at it too. I'm drawing this out of here. Oh, the cartoonist. They don't have to look exactly right. That's Miss Emmy. I wrote it down there so I remember it. Now I gotta put something over this so I don't want to look at my rolling. There's the frosting. It started. I decided to go to the beginning. Get this whole beginning area kind of finished up, looking good. They move on into the park. Um, I got a good start to the park, and we will work on the depot, and we'll start the railroad. Um, you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, the first depot, I could put the, um, the mall type thing underneath with information. We can have a couple different things there, some food. Um, Put a ride in that you can have maybe entrance to the ride on the inside. We'll go try something like that. Be kind of cool, but um, that will be after I get this whole front because I don't want to move on to something and then I don't come back and finish this area. Oh, there's Warlock Dobbers up there. See, I remember because I wrote it down. Miss Emmy, I have this guy at night for a night, Ted. Uh -huh. I, it's a guy in an armored suit. Oh, right, it actually worked. I sped it up to half the speed. So I went from 1456 to 733. So if I do another clip at 1457, speed it up to the. It should be. I'll have two clips sped up and I can fit them all in. We're going to work on that. I will be back and we'll do some more audio on this but I just discovered something so we're gonna go play with it uh, Mr. Editor uh, we're gonna need a new audio and we'll need some new video clips in here uh, you going back to the village and bring us some new stuff yeah I'll be right back I'll bring you some new footage uh, I'm gonna do some more work and then um, we get everything frosted up in the front there get that start front Looking good, we'll work on the railroad tracks. Oh, that was good for that clip. Save the rest of this for the next clip and we'll do some more audio then. Okay, go to the beginning, do a review, see how it looks, and come back. Not too many more audios that we can't do anymore. I think this is going to look familiar. If it does look familiar, it's because it is familiar. This is an earlier clip we did that I brought back in. It was set. Uh, 1458 the clip was I think we've already posted this one but what I did is I brought it back in into this clip I sped it up two times and guess what seven minutes and stuff so the two clips the one that was 1457 sped up two times put it at seven minutes this one spout up two times put it at seven minutes 14 mi plus minutes and if it's and I've got two clips, boom, boom, real quick clip to fit under the 15 minute mark. And we're golden, man. I just, I, this is um, a learning thing for me. That way I can <laughs> listen to that. Listen to the music. I love it. There's a whole prairie dog chorus. I ain't using chipmunks, it's prairie dogs. Chipmunks have been done already. There's somebody getting paid that did chipmunks, so I'm not using it. I ain't messing with that copyright. Uh, I have a due fondness for it. 
um, the individual that did the voice for that particular the that particular famous chipmunk I got all the respect in the world for it because that was one of the hardest things a person can do is voice control so that when they speed it up it is the voice of the chipmunk and with all the influence, the singing and everything else that takes great voice control to begin with to sing the music to do the voice and then have it sped up and still be able to understand and actually hear the words and stuff like that for instance um, some of these clips are hard to understand what's being said because I'm speaking too quickly for when you speed it up it just but that's all right I'm just hearing it in the background here that the chorus is going it just it's cool um, our studio drummer same thing uh, I've brought the studio drummer in he's played a few I've taken what he's done and I've sped it up and he created a kind of neat effect I made a video with him playing the drums catch fire then it's like it starts to rain or there's water to put the fire out like that but I used the uh, uh, special effects in the video uh, editor here in, on my PC and uh, so I was able to create a little clip like that and something similar here um, putting stuff together I like how these characters came together um, it started with uh, Katie Witch I went into Minecraft I created a, a, a world where it's in creative so I could I don't have to worry about fighting the skeletons or all the different warlocks and witches and stuff so I spawned in a witch which became uh, Katie witch which is her name she's a um, she bakes cookies she loves gingerbread cookies she loves to bake them um, I say they're magically delicious because uh, she does use magic makes them delicious and she's created these uh, figures that seem to have caught on and they're, they're in this fantasy world they're famous here and it'd be a franchise thing you can use throughout different parks and you have Sergeant Bones which is the uh, Sergeant Bones that paints old Grizz's tanks and battleships and cruisers and destroyers and now aircraft carriers they have a fleet of aircraft carriers and my friend has a ride with an aircraft carrier in it in his park I want to use that carrier in our park because we do have carrier Sunday that would be perfect to set up a harbor uh, a portal for World of Warships like I did for World of Tanks I use the ride in the old um, Grizzles Den Speedway but that would be more effective as they have so I need to go look for that and find that and bring that into my my next build um, not going to do it in gingerbread because gingerbread's winter season and, oh we're getting to the end of this hey did you do the script thing what more voice acting yeah we did the script thing we put it there and I think we can even slide it down we're at 14.31 we can go to uh, 14.57 and I do believe so you want to slide that one down we'll put a little bit more audio track here that is awesome voice acting so is this <laughs> are we having fun hey there are warlock Dobbs ghost <laughs> warlock Dobbs sergeant bones katie witch that's the cookie so far the spooky cookies coming Cut, print and post put it in the can and on the shelf from Ely Studio and Sons, Phil Ed and Old Grizz, thank you for watching. He got it in all right. Well done. Everybody.